Good day, I'm Mark Jensen Benedicto from BSTM1101. In this video, I am going to show you the different ways on how to eliminate hazards and risks in the tourism industry. But before that, take a look at my infographic first. Tourism is a travel for pleasure or business. It is also the theory of practice of touring, the business of attracting, accommodating, and entertaining tourists, and the business of operating tours. It is also the total of all businesses that directly provide goods or services to facilitate business, pleasure, and leisure activities away from the home environment. Even before the pandemic, this industry was very prosperous. It has been able to provide entertainment to the people, increased employment opportunities, and played a major role in the economic growth of each country. And also, even before the pandemic, this industry faces various problems such as eliminating hazards and risks, which can affect their service, customers, and possibly the entire industry if not immediately addressed. I keep saying hazards and risks over and over again, and maybe you are confused as to what it means. But what do hazards and risks mean? A hazard is a potential source of harm, substances, events, or circumstances can constitute hazards when their nature would allow them even just theoretically, to cause damage to health, life, property, or any other interest of value. While the risk is the possibility of something bad happening. Risk involves uncertainty about the effects, implications of activity, with respect to something that humans value, often focusing on negative, undesirable consequences. In short, Hazard is something that can cause harm if not controlled. And risk is a combination of the probability that a particular outcome will occur and the severity of the harm involved. For nothing to be affected, the first thing we must do is Identify. Find out the hazards and risks that can be developed in the industry. These are some types of hazards. First, physical hazards. A physical hazard is an agent, factor, or circumstance that can cause harm with contact. They can be classified as a type of occupational hazard or environmental hazard. Physical hazards include ergonomic hazards, radiation, heat and cold stress, vibration hazards, and noise hazards. Second, biological hazards. A biological hazard or biohazard is a biological substance that possesses a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily humans. This could include a sample of a microorganism, virus, or toxin that can adversely affect human health. A biohazard could also be a substance harmful to other animals. Third, chemical hazards. A chemical hazard is a type of occupational hazard caused by exposure to chemicals in the workplace. Exposure to chemicals in the workplace can cause acute or long-term detrimental health effects. Fourth, psychosocial hazards. A psychosocial hazard or work stressor is any occupational hazard related to the way work is designed, organized, and managed as well as the economic and social context of work. Unlike the other three categories of an occupational hazard, they do not arise from a physical substance or object. Fifth, mechanical hazards. Mechanical hazards are created as a result of either powered or manual use of tools, equipment, or machinery and plant. An example of a mechanical hazard is contact, and or entanglement with unguarded moving parts on a machine. Sixth, workplace hazards. Any practice or situation that occurs
occurs in an occupational setting and has the potential to cause bodily or mental harm or pose any other risks to the health of one or more workers constitutes as a workplace hazard. Aside from this, there are still risks facing the tourism industry, such as natural disasters, catastrophes, terrorism, wars, economic crisis, and epidemics. These events can have a different impact on tourism, different duration, different effects, and an even spatial influence. Therefore, it is important to evaluate assess the possible causes and effects of hazards and risks on their service, workers, customers, and the entire industry. This method can be done by conducting research or study about the said hazards and risks. First, we will know the source of them so that if there is any, it can be solved immediately. We will also discover the possible impact it will have on the entire industry just in case. After knowing the possible costs and effects, plan. Develop a solid plan to have a concrete guide in eliminating hazards and risks such as strict observations on the health and proper personal hygiene of employees, as well as how they properly prepare, process, and store the foods, products, and other items they offer. You can also consult or seek advice from professionals when it comes to the field of tourism to get an idea. Then apply. Implement the plans properly to have a clean and safe industry. Keep doing this and have regular observations about it so that we will know if these plans are doing well in the industry. And if not, we can think of new ways that can be applied immediately. Last, continue. Constantly create innovative ways, continue to conduct studies, do not be afraid to try, strive hard for the industry, and make a stronger plan to stay prepared for the hazards and risks that may be developed in the tourism industry in the future. Those are the ways that I think will help the people, stakeholders of different establishments, and the entire tourism industry to eliminate hazards and risks. I am happy to share my knowledge and I hope you have learned something. Thank you.